Hello, in this video we're going to graph the function y equals negative 3 square root x plus 1 using a combination of transformations. So looking at this graph we have our first step which is to identify the basic function. Looking at what we have, I see this is going to be a reflection, we have a sh couple shifts here, we have, or we have a shift here, uh, but I do see the square root. And so my basic function is going to be the square root of f. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, uh, it looks like three transformations on it. So let's go through and label all the transformations we're going to have. Starting at x, working your way out. So what is the first thing we do? Starting at x, we have a plus 1 inside the function. So horizontal shift, 1 to the left. All right, so now after I do my plus one, so I'm moving one to the left, I'm now, I square root, so now I'm outside the square root and I have a three. I'm multiplying my function by three, my basic function by three. That was a vertical stretch. And it will be a vertical stretch by a factor of three. And then after we've dealt with the three, we now have this minus sign. Now the minus sign is outside the function. So our final transformation will be a reflection over the x-axis. So let's go ahead and do all of these now. So let's start with our basic function, the square root of x. Uh, now let's do a horizontal shift, one to the left. So that's what we get when we shift everything one to the left. You can come over here and you can actually do that. Shift one left root here. Take this point, one left here. Uh, take that point, move left one here, and we get something that looks like that. This is exactly what we have here. All right, so that's the function x squared of x plus 1. Now we're going to do a vertical stretch by a factor of 3. That means you're going to take every single y value that's on this new graph and multiply it by 3. So before I graph it, just to get an idea, if I multiply this point by 3, I still get that point. If I multiply this by 3, I'm now up here, so 1, 2, 3. And if I multiply that point by 3, so this is the point 4, 2. Nope, is it 1, 2, 3, 4? Oh, there's 3, 2, sorry. This is the point 3, 2. It's now going to go up to 3, 6. So it's going to go pretty high. So I'm going to have to adjust the tick marks. Here's what it looks like with the tick marks adjusted. So again, we're here. Uh, we multiply that by 3. 1, 2, 3. Uh, so I actually think that was wrong. Um, and then 3, 2 now goes up to 3, 6. So these are my points. Let's go ahead and graph it. So there's my new current graph. And that is going to be 3 times the square root of x plus 1. The final graph, which is now to just throw a negative out front, which is a reflection over the x-axis. So we're just going to take this graph now, this new one right here, and reflect it over the x-axis. So that means the point 0, 3 is now 0, negative 3. The point 3, 6, because again, that's the point 3, 6, is now 3, negative 6. So it's down here. Okay, adjusting the tick marks because I had to go down a little bit farther. Uh, this is now my final graph. So this is negative 3 square root of x plus 